Hey guys, Tennessee Frank here. Going to uh, bring you a solar panel review on this new uh, Eco-Worthy solar panel. This is one of their new bifacial panels. Um, I've been using their standard panel here. It's 100 watts for quite a while. Uh, and I like it. It's, it's one of my go-tos. Whenever i got to charge a power station, I'll grab this and take it out in the backyard and lean it against a chair and, and charge my power stations. And it works awesome. Lightweight, I mean not real heavy, um, but they come out with a new bifacial that's supposed to take reflected light and on the back side of the panel you, you get uh, some, some solar power too. So instead of just one side you're getting it on both, hence the term bifacial. Uh, and uh, I reached out to them uh, and uh, you know full disclosure and uh, asked them if they could send me a panel to test and they were kind enough to send me a panel out to uh, do a test on. I just want to see what the difference in wattage is going to be since you'll be getting uh, solar from both sides. I want to see if there's any increase in wattage and uh, you know what the positives are with this panel. So we're going to get out and uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my Lumo Pals 300 a little 300 watt power station. It is rated for 150 watts of solar so a 100 watt panel should not max this out. Some of my other smaller power stations, um, they tend to max out at around 60 or 65 watts. And I want this to be a good fair test to just see what kind of power we're going to get. So we will go out in the backyard. Uh, I'm going to lean these up against the wall instead of putting a chair behind them because I want this panel to have the best chance at reflected light that it can. I'll be using a, a, about a 10 foot uh, MC4 cable to connect this to run this over to the power station and I do have an adapter from uh, MC4 over to 5521 so we can hook this in and, and get a reading just get you know a quick watt reading I know a lot of people are going to say well the way you should do this take your volt ohm meter you know check your voltage check your amperage do your multiplication I wanted to do a real world test I just wanted to see what we're going to get going into an actual power station you know versus just an, an open circuit test so we will be doing it with the uh, the little lumo pals here so uh, let's go ahead we'll get out in the backyard get this set up and we'll start our testing okay we got our standard panel hooked up and I got it angled as good as I can get it right now toward the sun um, it is a bit overcast so we're not going to get as much energy in as we could but like I said I'm doing the best I can with what I got here so we're going to start we're going to test uh, the standard panel and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to move this over here set it up about the same way and we're going to test it and then I'm going to put a white sheet behind it to see about reflecting more light um, off the ground behind it so let's get started with the testing Okay, you can see we're getting about 70 watts in, which uh, is good. That's like 70%. And like I said, this is not angled perfectly toward the sun, um, but it's bouncing between 69 and 70, which on an overcast day, uh, I'd say that's, that's pretty good. I mean, there is, you know, very light clouds. It's not like cloudy, but there is some, some haze in the air. So 70 watts is not too bad out of this standard panel. Let's go ahead and hook up the... Uh, the bifacial and let's see what we're going to get out of it. Okay we have it hooked up I got it in about the same position. You can see we're pushing uh, 77, 78, 78, 81, wow 83, 82, 83. So we are getting quite a bit more. Um, I'm going to be surprised what we get when we put the sheet behind there. 84, 83. Let me put the sheet behind it and let's see what we get then. Okay, that really did not seem to make that much difference. Um, in fact, it looks like we have just a little bit less. I'm not sure why that is. But uh, either way, I'd say this extra wattage we're getting out of this panel, uh, it, it's pretty good. I'm going to pull the sheet back off. We're going to check it one more time without, so hang on. Okay, yeah, we're back up 83, 
So yeah, I'd say uh, 84, probably with or without some reflectum behind it. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, in fact, it's actually doing better without. But uh, either way, yeah, this is pretty good. I, I'm, I'm liking these panels. I actually think they're worth the extra money, especially if you have limited space. Yeah, 85. That's real good. I mean, that's real good. So let me get this video wrapped up. Uh, we'll take a final look at these. One final thing before we head back in. You can see the back of these panels on the standard panel, how the connectors are wired in and this white. And then on the, uh, the bifacial, see how you can kind of see through that glass and the way this is wired in. Yeah, it's a bit different and this is this is catching light on this side too, reflected light. That's where you're getting that extra power. So that's a really, a really a good step up. All right, so you can see uh, we're getting about 14 extra watts out of this bifacial panel, which uh, if you add it up over standard, if you go with a 10 panel array, uh, let's say you're setting up a solar setup on a, a shed or an off-grid you know, cabin or something, 10 of these, you'll be getting about 700 watts. You go with 10 of those, you're going to get 840 watts. 140, or 140 watts more. So basically, you're uh, two panels up over standard by going with these bifacial. So for extra $20, I would say it's a pretty good deal. I would say, uh, yeah, if you're limited for space and you need the most bang for your buck out of your panel, these bifacials are a good way to go. So. Uh, yeah, eco-worthy, uh, they're doing a good job on their batteries. Uh, if you watch my battery test, uh, both the little 30 amp hour and the 100 amp hour, the, they're punching way above their weight, giving you more than what they're rated for. And uh, now with their bifacial panel, you're getting pretty good wattage out of these. I mean, I've come to expect 65 or 70 watts out of a 100 watt panel. Now we're pushing uh, 84, 85 on a real good day when it's real sunny. I'll bet you on it's real sunny out, if we get a good reflective background, we'll be close to 90 on this 100 watt panel. Um, so yeah, eco-worthy, yeah, two, two thumbs up, I, I definitely recommend their stuff. Um, so like I always say, uh, you know, if you like what you see, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that. And uh, you know, if we don't stand up for our rights, we can sit by and watch them go away. You guys have an awesome rest of the day. We'll talk to you later. Tennessee Frank out of here.